the Freestyle Light System, and you, getting to know your new Freestyle Light blood glucose monitoring system. Hello, my name is Taylor, and I'm here today to take you through the simple steps you'll need to follow in order to test your blood glucose levels with the Freestyle Light blood glucose monitoring system. We know that it's not always easy to check your blood glucose regularly. So here at Abbott Diabetes Care, we're doing everything we can to make testing easier and faster, while at the same time providing you with the accuracy you need. Today, it's only going to take a few minutes to have you testing like a pro. So now, let's get started with blood glucose testing that's easy to do anytime you want. The Freestyle Light blood glucose monitoring system is designed to make it easy for busy people to test whenever they need to. The system includes the Freestyle Light meter, a lancing device and lancets, an owner's booklet, and a small, easy to take anywhere carrying case. During the next few minutes, I will guide you through each of the steps you'll need to take when you test your blood glucose level. In order to follow along, you should place everything you need, the Freestyle Lancing device, the test strip vial, and the meter on a table in front of you. In addition to what we cover in this program, you should also read the Freestyle Light owner booklet that comes with your meter. It will give you much more detailed information about using the Freestyle Light blood glucose monitoring system, including sections on the Freestyle Light Meter and Test Strips, Freestyle Control Solution, Testing Your Blood Glucose, Meter Setup, Meter Results, Meter Maintenance, and System Troubleshooting. As we begin, there's one important thing to keep in mind. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions on when and how often to test in order to best manage your blood glucose level. So now, let's start with the Freestyle Lancing device. Notice it's small enough to let you be very discreet when you check your blood glucose levels. The Lancing device has a caulking handle, depth setting dial, depth indicator window, and release button. The device comes with two caps, a dark cap for finger testing and a clear cap for testing sites other than fingers. If you're testing for hypoglycemia, low blood glucose, or you suffer from hypoglycemia unawareness, we recommend that you test on your fingers. To load the Lancing device, snap off the cap at an angle, like this. Now insert a new freestyle lancet firmly into the white lancet holder cup. Pushing the lancet into the cup may cock the device, and this is all right. Now, holding the lancet firmly in place with one hand, use your other hand to twist off the rounded top, exposing the needle. The freestyle light system allows you to test on alternate parts of the body such as the forearm, thigh, and palm. The flexibility of being able to choose different sites as you test throughout the day is a great benefit. Because we're going to start by taking a blood sample from the finger today, we need to select the dark cap and snap it back onto the device, being careful that it doesn't touch the exposed needle on the lancet. Notice that our device offers four settings. You'll need to move your dial to the desired setting. To lance your finger, we recommend that you start with level one, as you see here. Then you can customize as you need. Pull the dark cocking handle out until it clicks. Now we'll set the lancing device aside while we proceed to the next step in testing, setting up the Freestyle Light Meter. The Freestyle Light Meter is small and yet has a large, high contrast display screen for easy on-the-go testing. The mode or M button allows you to move to different mode settings to scroll backwards and to silence the reminder alarm. The light button controls the display backlight and test strip port light. The data port allows you to download test results to a computer program. And the configure or change C button allows you to scroll forward to display the clock. The test strip port at the bottom is where you insert the test strip. Now remember, I'm only covering the basics here. Several of the features we've just seen on the Freestyle Light Meter have additional capabilities, so be sure to consult the Freestyle Light Meter section of the owner's booklet, as well as meter setup, meter results, meter maintenance, and the system troubleshooting sections. Now, let's look at the test strips. It's very important to remember that the Freestyle Light system should only be used with the Freestyle Light test strips. If you use other test strips on the meter, 
It will not power on. All right. Next, we'll remove the cap on the test strip vial and take out one Freestyle Light test strip. Always be sure to replace the cap when it's not in use. This is the front of the Freestyle Light test strip. Note that at the top of the strip, you see a black test strip symbol. And at the bottom of the strip, you see two rounded half circles. These half circles are the area where blood should be applied. And the back side of the strip is blank. It's really helpful to have two blood sample areas on the strip. That way, whether you're right-handed or left-handed or wherever your test site is located, it's always a simple matter to position the half circle at the test site. Just remember, you should only apply blood to one blood application circle on the strip, and each strip can be used only once. Now we're ready to insert the strip into the meter with its front side up. You should slide the strip into the test strip port until it stops. As you can see, this causes the meter to automatically power on. One of the benefits of the Freestyle Light meter is that you do not need to code it with a number because the Freestyle Light meter does it for you. You get the superior accuracy without the hassle of an extra step. And now you're ready to test your blood. Once the strip is inserted and the meter powers on, you should see both a blood drop and a test strip symbol on the meter display screen. This means that the meter is working properly and is ready for a blood sample. And say you're in a location that doesn't have a lot of light. Well, all you need to do is press the light button to turn on the display backlight. This will make it easy for you to see the information displayed on the screen. All right, so far so good? It's easy, isn't it?